Hi, I am Marius Herlamos, and this is Long Story Short, episode 8. I call this Winners, Winners. Look, we all like complaining. Some more, others less. Hell, even I sometimes catch myself whining as if there's no tomorrow. Some people whine only when they're under pressure they feel they cannot handle. Others whine so often that you would think they think that everyone else is against them. Whining is different than arguing constructively. I define whining as making enough noise to annoy others so that you get preferential treatment in order to stop your whining. In that sense, it's sort of blackmailing, if you will. And uh, what do people do when something annoys them and distracts them from other things that are more important to them? They make the annoyance go away, not in the best way, not in the ideal way, but in the fastest way possible. And what is the fastest way in dealing with a whiner? <laughs> well, it's none other than uh, giving in to the whiner's demands. People often follow a default approach when it comes to tackling a problem that surfaces repeatedly. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. As a matter of fact, it's uh, more often than not a good thing because it saves you time. After all, you cannot keep reinventing the wheel day in and day out. But couple this default approach to problem solving with the annoyance that a whiner causes and you have all hell breaking loose in many major organizations. I used to work with a firm with a very cutthroat business model. There were only two routes one could follow, either up or out. And because <laughs> people in that organization knew what was eventually coming for them, they would whine all the time. The higher they were, uh, they were in the hierarchy, even more so. If we get these guys out of the way and there's no one else to replace us immediately, we might get to stay in this position for another year or two. I guess that's what uh, was uh, their way of thinking. So the board of directors, <laughs> as you can imagine, were proficient, were champions in this unofficial game. They've beaten everyone else through experience in order to get there. <laughs> By the way, uh, let, me define, uh, let me clarify that the board of directors in this organization were mere employees. They were not owners in that way, in that sense, they could get fired as well at any given time. Politicians do it all the time. They speak only to whine. When asked to propose solutions, they only speak generally, in principle. They know that because of all the cacophony that is abound in many major democracies these days, chances are that people will default to believing the whiner, the one who will complain first about something. A whiner can oftentimes be the bearer of fake news. Old sound, no substance, and with a derogatory effect on everyone affected by them. Spreading of fake news is persecuted for a reason. Do not allow anyone who tries to follow the same approach in dealing with you to get the upper hand. Punish the source of fake news if proven to be fake. Do not put up with it. So let me cut a long story short here and get to my point. Next you hear a whiner, do not default to satisfy their demands. Rather, try hearing all sides of an argument before making a decision. It's not easy and it's certainly more time consuming, but it is worth it. <laughs>